Hey Scorpio and welcome to the one that got away tarot love reading for you guys. So we're going to take a look at the energies um, of your special someone, the one that got away from you. And we're going to see what it is he or she may be feeling about you or, you know, what's going on with them uh, in general here. So as always guys, the readings here in general, so please be mindful of that as I do the reading. Um, if you are interested in a personal tarot spread with me, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list that email address for you all, just at the bottom of the video here in the show more section, along with all of the uh, information you will need. I also want to take the time to mention to you all that I have a Halloween sale um, on all of the private readings. So if you're interested in um, getting a reading at a discounted price, go right ahead. Okay, Scorpius, so this message, uh, these messages here are intended for Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and of course, uh, Rising as well. Okay, so you've got the Devil in Reverse, the Seven of Pentacles here. Okay. Got the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles here. All right, Scorpio. The one that got away from this relationship, it's interesting, but I honestly believe that there were outside or external factors here that um, sort of weighed in on their decision to pull away from you here. Yeah, I feel like there is something here that played um, that played its role in the demise of the relationship here. The devil in reverse here is um, it's actually a lot more positive when the devil is up in reverse as opposed to when he's upright. So what it tells us is that this change, the fact that this person here ended things with you, or the fact that the relationship, um, you know, the expiration date has arrived on this relationship, the change here was for the better, okay? This person has a newfound freedom here, and I feel like this person is someone who is, they've been really patient. From what I can see, I feel like this person has been really patient with the whole process, with breaking up, with the transitioning, with the transformation, with the entering, you know, with ending one chapter and entering a new one. Um, and I feel like this this is someone who has been, they've been working on themselves here, Scorpio. They've been working on themselves. So remember how I mentioned that there was uh, something key, a factor that played in the demise of this relationship? This person might have been someone who is... Um, heavily uh, indulgent in uh, some toxic substance. Now, it could be drugs, it could be drinking, it could be partying, it could be something unhealthy, it could be smoking, um, it could be like sugar. I don't know, it just feels like uh, there was something here that this person was indulging in that, that somehow I feel like affected the relationship and of course if it's you know you know an unhealthy or a toxic indulgence such as drugs or whatnot of course that's going to affect the relationship right so yeah I feel like there was something here that this person was involved in um, they might have even been involved in a criminal lifestyle or just something that's really unhealthy not only to their general health and well-being but, but also and equally as important to the relationship here so things got a little bit messy from what I can see I'm also seeing that whatever it is whatever toxic substance that this person was relying on I feel like they're slowly coming out of it I feel like this person is slowly trying to kick a negative habit or a bad habit or negative behavioral patterns they are slowly but gradually working on themselves it's not going to happen overnight but from what i can see i feel like this person is making a better transition here scorpio so they're dealing things with one by one it might come as a surprise to you but um, i feel like this person is seeking um, self-improvement gradually but they're doing it nonetheless here um now with these six of The Six of uh, Pentacles here, yeah, I do get a sense, uh, Scorpio, that this person feels, maybe they felt, you know, maybe they were aware of the, the hurt, the pain, and the damages that they were causing to the relationship, and, you know, that they were causing to Yihi. That's why I feel, because I get a strong message that this person feels very positive about the ch changes in their life. One of which is, you know, ending things with you or ending the relationship that they were, that they, you know, that they were in here with you. Maybe the relationship itself, the nature of the relationship, the nature of this connection was toxic. Maybe, you know, it was toxic, it was poisonous, it was unhealthy. And 
maybe they felt they had to end things here with you because Scorpio, they felt that you weren't strong enough to end things, you know, because something about this gives me, a, like, something about this connection gives me um, the the message that it was an addictive, uh, it was an addictive connection or have like an addictive quality to it, right? So maybe they had to pull away because they knew that you didn't, uh, that, you know, that you wouldn't or you, you weren't strong enough to do it. Uh, I am seeing health issues here, health issues, uh, but I am seeing like health uh, issues, but I'm seeing like this person right now is going through a period of healing from what I can see. They really are. Um, and even the relationship, it was messy. Okay. I feel like they were an emotional mess and I feel like things got a little bit messy here between you and this person, right? But I feel like they're coming out of it. They're coming out of this toxicity they're coming out of this poison that they're you know injecting themselves with they're coming they're slowly coming out of it here and they're also coming out of it then we're in a dark place here scorpio don't get me wrong when they broke up with you they were in a dark place but they're coming out of that place and it's looking it's looking so much brighter here with the hierophant i also feel like this person has trying to it's almost like they're trying to find um identity in religion or in spirituality um someone i feel like they're trying to connect here they're trying to connect with themselves on a more spiritual level so i feel like this person has been using religion or spirituality to enlighten themselves and to you know to to uh, uh do that self-improvement here um I also feel like for some of you, maybe religion was also a big factor in uh, contributing to the breakup of this connection, okay? Because I feel like either this person is really religious or is really spiritual, and I feel like there may have been some differences here. Um, and don't get me wrong, like religion religion or religious beliefs here, you know, uh, re re ugh. let me start again, religious beliefs, religious traditions, all of that, you know, it's... It plays a big factor in relationships. It plays a big factor. If neither one is, you know, is open to respecting um, each other's, uh, you know, religious uh, beliefs and traditions, it can, then it can be a, it can be a breaking factor. Like it can be, you know, a make or break factor in a relationship, right? So for some of you, I do feel like maybe uh, there was a clash of cultural or even religious differences here. Okay, maybe their family here felt as though you were from a different religious background and things could never work. So I feel like this person is being, has been using uh, religion to heal themselves. Because I'm seeing they're doing a lot of forgiving here. A lot of, they're forgiving themselves. They're forgiving themselves from the hurt, that, for all the hurt they caused you. They're forgiving themselves for all the hurt that they've caused themselves here. I can see that they're going through a lot of forgiveness here. And right now, I feel like this person is really working on themselves. I see them spending a lot of time with family and friends. If this person has uh, children, I feel like they've become even closer to their children. Because I can see that they're nurturing connections and nurturing relationships. And you know what? They've come out of this to arrive at this. So I honestly feel like they, like their life is so much, it's so much contrasting. Like they've come up from such a dark place to such a brighter place. And, you know, this is someone who values uh, relationships and connections so much more because they, were, they weren't able to see just how much um, value all these relationships brought into their life because I feel like this person was... Uh, so heavily focused on, you know, whatever the toxicity that they were um, engaged in. But emotionally speaking, they're in such, uh, they're in, in a better place here. They're in a better place. Scorpio, if you feel this is someone whom you have, um, whom you still have feelings for, um, and if you feel like, you know, you may want to uh, reconnect with them in the future, I feel like Maybe give it a little bit more time, but I feel like there may be a possibility because it's it's amazing because I feel like them coming out of this hole that they fell down in um, is has has allowed them a new emotional perspective, a new lease on life. All right, Scorpies, and there you have it. So as always, thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, perhaps even sharing. For those of you that are interested in a personal tarot spread with me, I just want to take the time to remind you all of that Halloween sale. Um, so yeah, you better be better getting quick, no pressure. 
um, maybe just a little. Um, but otherwise, guys, do take care, keep safe, and I'm going to catch up with you all later in the week. Bye for now.